Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with data processing. Our viewer is curious about how to run multiple independent and unrelated functions in parallel without having to rewrite their entire code base. Let's dive into the details of their situation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To run multiple independent functions in parallel, we can utilize the parallel package in R. First, ensure you have the package installed. You can do this by running install.packages parallel. Next, we will use the mclapley function from the parallel package. This function allows us to apply a function to a list in parallel. Let's define our function and the arguments we want to pass. Now, we can call mclapley to run our function across multiple cores. We will pass our list of arguments and specify the number of cores to use. After executing the jobs, we can combine the results into a single data frame. This can be done using the rbind function. Finally, remember to clean up your workspace if necessary. You can remove any temporary variables you no longer need. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To run multiple independent functions in parallel, you can use new parallel. Just type parallel R script followed by your script names. This command allows you to run up to eight scripts at a time if your CPU has eight cores. You can adjust this with the Nash J option. If you're on a Mac, you can easily install GNU Parallel using Homebrew with a simple command. You can also customize GNU Parallel with options for progress bars, error handling, and even distribute jobs across multiple machines. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To run multiple independent functions in parallel, consider using parallelized apply functions. Start by organizing your arguments into a list. Next, load the parallel library and create a cluster based on your CPU cores. Then, use parseapply or parlapply to apply your function across the arguments. This method efficiently manages the tasks without needing a complete code overhaul. It's a straightforward way to leverage parallel processing in R. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Now until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers. What? <laughs>